this place, and welcome once again to Dirty Dick's Motorways Car. <laughs> I'm another gander how to cook up the uh, the muck, the me, the mess, the, the the meals that we serve out to our clientele. Now uh, this week I'm going to first show you how to prepare one of my unique homemade pies, or as they are known on the M1, the foot and mouth special. <laughs> now, our first requirement tonight is a baking bowl. Here we have a baking bowl, and that's the sheep's head, which I will tell you about later. <laughs> God, it looks like a woman I used to go to. <laughs> now, uh, into this bowl, I have placed a uh, kind of half pound of flour, a couple of water, and uh, well, a big dot of butter. And after that, of course, you have to... Oh, by the way, just I might just uh, diverge for a monument. I've had a couple of cheeky letters about me no washing my hands before I've handled edible foodstuffs. <laughs> so, well, fair's fair. I mean, a bit of hygiene never hurt anybody, you know what I mean? So I'll just like to tell you, before I come on the air tonight, I gave the offending appendages a good scrub of soap and water. And I washed my hands as well. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, now, in here, as I say, we've got this mixture that we've got to sort of <laughs> give it a good need because it, it, need, it needs a good need, you know? <laughs> if anything needed a good... <laughs> I'm hoping I'm not coming on for a call. <laughs> anyway, why have you got it into a kind of consistency to Tim out onto the, 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 the the thing so that you can roll it into a, a, a pastry. Fortunately, my uh, assistant chef, Clarty Claude, has made up some pastry for me. Would you see this uh, pastry, Clarty, please? <laughs> you monkey. Right into the sink there. Look at that. Now I'm going to bring that out. Hey, Clarty, how many times have I told you not to put your wife rinse in with a dinner? <laughs> That's ridiculous, right? It could ruin the elastic. <laughs> now, here we have this bit of pastry. Just hang on a sec, will you? <laughs> don't just need all that. Now, we put this in the bottom of the pan, like so. And uh, now, of course, we require the filling for the pie. Uh, I may say... <laughs> Oh, these bloody big cockroaches with you. <laughs> Throw me up as soon as look at you. <laughs> Where you dirty piece got you? Now, throughout the ages, I mean, folk have... <laughs> uh, flying today, eh? Anyway, we should have something really scrumptious in here to put the fire. Oh, hey, Clarty, that is ridiculous. <laughs> what do you watch me do? By the way, I perhaps should tell you that and then... <laughs> I wouldn't worry about that, it's next door. <laughs> uh, here we have the very best kind of scrumptious pie filling. <laughs> now, we take the pie filling and we put it into the... Dear God, hell. And we put it into the pie there and we scribble it about there and uh, we put the sheep's head right on the top. <laughs> now, we want to marinate this in a little white wine, and this seems to be quite good stuff. <laughs> ah, it's no bad, that. <laughs> That's about the right amount. A mouthful and a hot. <laughs> now, we cover this whole thing with another dot of pastry. Uh, and this is where maybe the teeth will come in handy, crimp the edges here. <laughs> Just to make it nice and neat. And you bung this in the oven for ending up to two hours, or until such times as it blows up. <laughs> of course, like any other good chef, I already have one... Shut your face, you. <laughs> I already have one cooking, and I'll go and get that now for all my oven. And, uh, we can... Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> and here we have this delicious delicacy, which is guaranteed to put hairs on your chest and make you run faster than the bionic woman. <laughs> well, that's all for uh, this week, Chinas. I do hope you'll look in again next week when I'll be baking the humble Scotch salmon and turning it into an Italian treat, which they call salmonella. <laughs> <laughs> what up, you?